manufacturing. James, the master engineer, hard at work, selling product. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Get back to work. I don't have time for this shit. Right. Um, how high does this need to be when it's all well, the way? It's got to be. Um, it rests on that with a thing, so there you go. Wait, so it's got to be a little bit lower because that is the limit for how. This needs to be lower? No. Th yeah, this needs to be down lower. So leave that where it is. Wait, wait. Is that good? Uh, lower. A little bit lower. You know what you're doing. I think yeah. that's good, yeah, for maximum torqueage. Oh, see, I like to come, you know, like straight down instead of having to push in. When, well, but, oh, but, there's right. going to be tools there's in the, there. Okay. So, yeah. Good point. Yeah. We just have that for like the oh. maximum endage part. James is fixing our awesome tools here. He fixed this one. Look at that. Oh my god. He's putting that master's degree to work by um, lubing all our equipment. Yay. Thank you, James. We love you. Hooray. Hooray. See, and actually, that's probably what this divot here is for. To put goo in? Mm hmm. Probably. Yeah, I think so. As a matter of fact. And then these chicken arrows on the side as well. Oh. Either that or they're relics of the manufacturing process. Yeah. Alright. It's a good press. It's got a good reputation, I think. Number three? Number one. Holy shit, oh, so number this one. Is the, this is the small size. Uh, yeah. That one's a big one. This is only three tons. Still. Grand Haven, Michigan, USA. Woo! Melinda's from Michigan. Back when yeah. Michigan used to manufacture stuff. Oh, slam. No, I'm just, I just call it like this, man. <laughs> James is a motherfucker. Here's the uh, original Super Press. This one was made in 1800, your mom. It says pony on it. And it was used in the very first uh, Portland Express. Roads Festival. Oh, yeah? It was used to decorate the saddles that are used to um, oppress and uh, torture the horses. No. Yeah. They don't people should ride let horses people naked. sitting on them. No. Get off the fucking horses. Oh, yeah, it's just horses have families. New Mexico finally outlawed cockfighting. Yay! A, it's about fucking time. Well, Woo. no, all that does is take it out of the light of view, so all sorts of it'll things reduce, can go on. It'll reduce the amount of it too. It's not like no people are gonna people are just gonna have cockfights illegally and get away with all kinds of shit that they wouldn't otherwise because now it's underground. No, like prohibition. Didn't stop alcohol. It just cockfighting though. It's not crime. like drinking. Cockfighting so and drinking like are racing. totally Bruce different. Horses naturally fight each other for dominance. Horses don't naturally run around in circles carrying free and small humans on their back. True. I um, agree with that. So, um, yeah. I mean, the difference is horse racing is a rich white man's sport, and cockfighting is a poor brown man's sport. But. You know, and as far as, you know, the lifespan of a rooster goes, you're much better off being a fighting rooster than an eaten rooster. Because <laughs> at least going into the ring, you've got a 50-50 chance of coming out. Either one going is Going into the frank produce factory, Either a one, chance. Either one does not need to exist. They're both fucking fucked up. There's, there's no reason for either one. They're fucked up. All right. So, our five minutes oh, almost oh, up. Oh, wow. So we gotta say goodbye. James fucking broke my shit. Now, I think if you have some aluminum foil... <laughs> oh, no. No, you, you, you put little strips of aluminum foil...